my God, we have been wishing for this moment since 4.4 and always thought this would happen in 4.5, then 4.6, but it didn't. But now, finally, we have confirmation that 4.7 will feature the long-awaited Dane's Leaf quest. We also have more info on the new Spiral Abyss coming in at 4.7 with the Primo gem count, so this version is looking really good now. Let's start with the Dane's Life quest. The source of this news is coming from Team Mew and Fowl. They said the Traveler chapter, Dane's Leaf quest, will be in 4.7, which means this is Chapter 4, Act 6. There is no clue as to how or what will happen, and I hope we don't get to know that. I really hate story spoilers, but usually in the rush of knowing about a version, I get exposed to the story data. But don't worry, I won't spoil it if something does come up. I'm curious about what you all want from this quest this time. Personally, I want to know more about who the sinner is since the last time we saw Dain. He said he had a good idea of who it was, but needed to confirm it so he better tell us who it is. I also wonder if we will get to see our sibling this time, or if it's a backstory or a dream we have in which we see her. For the last two Dane quests, it has been a dream or backstory, so I do hope we get to see the sibling. Dane usually meets us in all nations, except for Inazuma. Maybe he's scared of Raiden or something. So this time there is a high chance for Fontaine to be on his list. 4.6 map has the lost civilization of Rumeria and stuff, so I wonder if we will go deeper into that lore. There was a king called Remus who ruled over Rumeria, and according to Arlecchino's voice lines from the live stream, he was seeking eternal paradise. So I wonder if the sinner is this King Remus. I'll leave the theory crafting to the lore YouTubers. Moving on from that, we have some more info on the new Spiral Abyss, they say it has eight floors, and the total Primo gems we can earn from this will be 600. We don't know if this will be replayable or not. We don't know a lot about the inner workings of this abyss. The only info they shared is that it will have a new mechanic that some will like and some will hate. I really wish this was some form of simulated universe, but I guess let's wait and see. That's the only info on it today, but next week when the beta starts, we will get to see this new abyss in actions and whatever new mechanics it holds. Usually X.7 versions are filler updates. The last X.7 version that I felt good was 2.7 with the whole chasm and Shaolor. So 4.7 being this good is a breath of fresh air. That means we should be entertained pretty well till 5.0 drops. So what do you think? Comment down your thoughts and while you are at it, like and sub too. Oh, and turn on the notifications as well so you don't miss out on anything. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day, everyone.